Hello friends, my name is Theo and today in this very exciting Mission Unity tutorial, we're going to be making a simple countdown timer using expressions inside Fusion inside Resolve 15. This is a comment that I got on a couple of my videos. I'm not sure if it was from the same person or not, but I thought, hey, that's pretty interesting and expressions are fun. So in Resolve, you see we've got a typical little MoGraph style comp here. It's from our edit page. We have a solid that we put into a compound clip, brought this compound clip into Fusion. And now the first thing we're going to do is add some text. So control space, text plus, pop that right in there. And now we're good to go. So normal people might, you know, type in a number, keyframe, type in another number, but that sucks. No one wants to do that. So what we're going to do instead is have an expression drive this for us so we can make it as long or short as we want and change things around. It'll be great. Expressions are great. If you don't know what expressions are, it's basically using some simple code to drive animations or effects inside a piece of software. And in this case, I think that Fusion mainly uses Lua for uh, expressions. So if you need to look up guides on how to use that, that's there, which I may or may not have done for this tutorial. All right, anyway, to get an expression, we're going to right click in our style text section and go to expression. You see now it opens up this little thing. So we have text is our variable that is being assigned this empty string right now. So put something in there and hit enter, you see it just gets put in right there. But what if we type in something that's not a string? And for you, of you who don't know, a string is a string is programming jargon for letters. So we can have something that's not letters. So we can have these values and it will be converted into a string automatically the way this is set up. So if we just type in time, see right now we get our frame number. So frame four, four in there. And now that's pretty good already. So we're counting up, which we don't want, but we have numbers that move on their own. So we saved ourselves 119 keyframes so far, which is pretty good. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to have this so it's counting down. So we're going to take the length of our comp, which in this case is 119 frames, and we're going to subtract the time from that. So 119 minus time. And there we go. So now we're just counting right on down, which is pretty nice. But we want this to read as seconds instead of, you know, frames because most people don't want to see frames. So we're going to divide this by the frame rate. So we need to put these in other little parentheses here and then hit divide 23.976, enter. And so now you can see, all right, we're counting down seconds, but we get all these other, also other trash on the side that we don't want. So you could go through and keyframe a mask if you want to, but we don't want to. So we're going to do instead is use the math.floor function from Lua, which will basically round this for us, sort of. So we're going to add another set of parentheses around here. Just remembering, you know, basic math and order of operations, because this is going to be taking place inside of the math.floor function. So math.floor, all lowercase, enter. And now we've got it counting down. Four, three, two, one. Happy New Year. If you want this to end at one for some reason instead, you can always just do a little plus one, wherever you want. Three, two, one, next clip. So there you go. That is a nice, quick little, quick and dirty expression. Expressions are great. I highly recommend playing around with them because you can save yourself a lot of time or you can waste a lot of time, but have a whole lot of fun. So. I hope you liked this video. If you liked it, give it a like. If you didn't, give it a dislike. No matter what, leave your fans down in the comments below. If you want to see more videos like this, be sure to subscribe to the Mission Media YouTube channel. And also check out MissionMedia.com slash products where we are still running our 15 days of DaVinci 15 sale. We can type in the code RESOLVE15 at checkout and get 15% off your entire order. So, you know, if you need to get some stock elements to put behind your cool timer, which you, know, you can make big and chunky and, and nasty, like this one then you know you can do that if you don't feel like doing that then go ahead and give give a little subscribe down at the bottom ring the little bell uh did i already tell you to leave a comment leave a comment we're getting pretty close to closing out these 15 days of resolve 15 so soon tutorials are going to be back at a normal pace anyway once again i've been theo with Mies new media i hope you have a great day and i will see you next time bye